This is NextGenWeb.org reporting from day number three at the Nextcom conference in Chicago. We're joined by Tony Bates, who's a senior vice president with Cisco. Tony, thanks a lot for joining us today. Yeah, welcome. Now, Tony, we just wrapped up a panel talking about broadband and future applications and the importance of broadband. Can you share your thoughts on the panel and some things that you took away? Yeah, it was a first. It was a very unique panel. I think we had uh, obviously myself there from Cisco. Um, uh, we really enable a lot of the infrastructure. We also had someone from Whirlpool, um, as well as uh, someone from Sea Change, who talked about uh, sort of the video aspect. And I think quick takeaways: we spent a lot of time talking about how, firstly, broadband is something we're very actively involved in, can really enable a whole new set of applications. Uh, and we focus not so much just on entertainment, which is something that's obviously already happening, but we started to talk a little bit about how could we actually uh, think about more of a connected life situation. Uh, not just for, for young people where obviously they're embracing the internet, Web 2.0, uh, and are already high, highly connected with broadband, but also things like the medical industry uh, and older people and how they could leverage uh, networks and broadband in particular. So a very interesting and very unique uh, um, set of uh, ideas and experiences, I think. So we talk about telemedicine and the education resources and things that broadband is, is doing to really improve the quality of life. Um, for everybody, do you feel that we're doing all that we can to deploy broadband quickly and get more access for users? Yeah, I think um, if you look on a global basis, I'd probably say no. There's obviously some areas, but we're at a very interesting moment in, in North America where we've had suddenly a tremendous amount of competition, uh, which is great, and that's enabling a lot more higher uh, speed connections, also more services, obviously triple play and quad play from the cable guys and uh, the traditional telecom players. Uh, but if if I touch on your point about the broader socioeconomic, whether it's in, in uh, education or uh, medicine or healthcare industry, I think we could um, start to help them with new, new ideas and services that would make them embrace broadband even more. A very simple one would be uh, we have some technology called telepresence, which is a, an ultra-high definition uh, today we use it as more as an executive conferencing, but if we could take that to other applications such as um, you know, doing remote diagnosis, remote uh, eye checks, you know, very rudimentary type of medical things that, that they have enough visual quality, we have the bandwidth, we have the technology, uh, that could really stimulate, I think, some of these markets to move, uh, in, you know, in a way that really benefits the, the end consumer. Right. Yeah. And finally, you mentioned competition. Um, do you feel the government's market-based approach to the Internet has allowed that competition to, to flourish, and do you feel that's, that approach is important down the road to continue to, to expand broadband? I think ultimately the market drives, um, and you know I think that uh, that's really what we see today. That that the market will 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 um, decide this versus the government. Uh, but at the same time, you know I think everyone it, it's it's in everyone's responsibility to keep pushing this broadband uh, phenomena uh, this way forward. Well, Tony, we, we appreciate your time today. Okay, thank you. Thanks. This is NextGenWeb.org reporting from the 2007 Nextcom conference in Chicago.